welcome and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are and where you're tuning in from we are very grateful but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates our mp is asking seven to free political detainees at the state of nations address uh, once again thanks for joining us let's take a quick look into some of these details Opposition MPs waved at President Museven placards demanding the release of political prisoners at the annual State of the Nation address on June 4, 2021. Seated members of parliament held a loft handwritten placards inscribed with the phrases Free Our People, Free Political Prisoners during the televised event at Kololo Independence Grounds Appearing unruffled, Mr. Museven carried on with his address, which comes at a time when several opposition supporters are on trial in the military court amid accusations of crimes allegedly committed during the 2021 general elections. Crowing in a victory through the contested 14th January polls, President Museven said, It is a special day in the Bible, uh, written in Leviticus chapter 23, verse 5. Uh, the Electoral Commission must have been guided by God in uh, selecting that date, which is the election day. The Army Court at Machinde, chaired by Lieutenant General Andrew Guti, has repeatedly denied bail to several opposition supporters arrested in December last year on grounds that they would incite violence. Prosecution states that the detainees were held for unlawful possession of ammunition contrary to the Firearms Act. The suspects, who include Bobby Wine's singing partner Ali Bukeni, also known as Nubian Lee, and his personal bodyguard Edward Sebufu, known as Edimutwe, denied the charges. Uh, Uganda's recently concluded electoral season claimed over 50 lives and saw an immunerable number of Ugandans arbitrarily detained. Uh, President Museven, while addressing the nation on Friday, issued a warning over an imminent third wave of the deadly COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, despite all the challenges over the last one year, the economy managed a small expansion of 3%. COVID-19 is very dangerous because it targets epithelial cells. Uh, nevertheless, the best is to avoid this disease until everyone is fully vaccinated, President Museven said. Just a day after Uganda reached a grim milestone in the pandemic era, registering over 1,000 new cases in 24 hours. Uh, President Yoweri Kagutam Seven went on ahead uh, talking about social economic transformation. Um, Seven, whose election victory ran on a securing your future, sloganeering urgent urged Ugandans to gear efforts towards achieving social economic transformation. The target is to ensure prosperity of our people by helping them to create wealth and jobs for themselves as well as ensuring security of our country, he said. He also continued saying that we are struggling in a global environment. Let all leaders stop confusing people by spreading divergent messages. Let all embrace profitability assessment, known as a chirabo, Echivaro and our products must be safe for global consumption, he added. President Museven also said, I urge our people to join commercial agriculture, industries, services, and ICT, noting that government will fund the Ugandan Development Bank in order to avail loans to citizens at less than 12%. He also spoke about corruption. The president voiced a fundamental warning to the corrupt father revealing a major shift towards using young people, preferably from the middle class to liberate several sectors. Corruption starts in the Ministry of Finance where projects are designed but they add in things which are not supposed to be there. I have the story now, you'll see, you watch out, it is for NRM to defeat corruption, President Museven said. Critics have previously expressed disagreement with the ruling National Resistance Movement approach to stamping out systematic corruption. These are children from rich families who don't have the problem of poverty-related pressure from home. This is a structural change 
you will see how they will help us to find this corruption m7 echoed um seven also spoke about security and disorganized police um seven castigated authorities in police while attributing criminality to corruption to corruption and poor procedures of handling crime within the law enforcement agency the recent shooting of general edward katumbo amala by shallow actors who i called pigs showed the poor organization of police the uavs and cameras i put in place did their work but why didn't the camera control center alert all patrol cars these officers think they are just for forensic analysis he said mr m7 slammed police officers for abandoning use of the traditional radio calls for communication the police is there for directed to stop using mobile phones and go back to using radio calls that are open to all stations so that they can act promptly in emergencies he said mr m7 hinted on the need to end the constitutional provided for bail for suspects before they are convinced in courts of law those arrested over previous killings have been released on bail by courts of law why does someone who has been arrested for killing people be released on bail mr m7 roared before he said security has been expanded with more military brigades uh that's what m7 said though mps came up the opposition MPs came out striking that President Joel Kagutam 7 must release the political detainees at the, at the state of nation, though he never gave an answer to that. He gave speeches to what I've just aired out right now, but we'll keep on updating you with more of this. Thanks for watching. That's it all for now, but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates.